One of the quickest ways to generate a landscape once you've created an IFTDIS account is to go to the Cycle, Landscape Evaluation, and click Create Landscape. This takes you to Map Studio and automatically opens the Landscape Tools widget with the Create New tab selected. Alternatively, I could have opened Map Studio, then Landscape Tools, and clicked on the Create New tab. Either way, from the Create New tab, there are several options for specifying the geographic extent for your landscape. If I already had a shape in IFTDIS or had uploaded a shape file, it could be used as an area of interest. In IFTDIS would base the landscape extent on the rectangular extent of that shape. Since I don't have an AOI at the moment, I'll select Draw Mode and draw the landscape extent. Notice the coordinates are listed below along with the area. These coordinates are listed in this lesson as well, and you can copy and paste into these fields. So if you want to follow along with this scenario on your end, you may copy those coordinates and paste them in to have a landscape of the exact same extent as the one we're going to use here. The maximum landscape extent in IFTDIS is currently 3.5 million acres. We're well below that here, but if we had exceeded it, we'd see a warning and wouldn't be able to finish until we redrew a smaller area. Next, I'll specify a land fire version for the landscape and a fire behavior fuel model type, either fuel model 13 or 40. For this course, I'll use land fire 2014 and Fire Behavior Fuel Model 40. We'll give the landscape a distinctive name. Oftentimes available landscapes in IFTDIS are shown in drop-down menus without the folder name listed. And for this reason it's very helpful to use landscape names that are recognizable at a glance. Naming in IFTDIS is limited to 70 characters. So I'll use Granite Creek LF14 Uned to help remind myself throughout this course that this is the 2014 data version of that landscape and that it is unedited. If I'd already created my work folder in my workspace, I could select that here to store our landscape in, but I haven't done that yet. So I'll click the plus sign to the right of the folder field and create a new one. Uh, we'll name it Granite Creek Project. Now that the landscape has a name, I'll go ahead and click Create. You'll see a notice along the top that lets us know the landscape is being created. I'll switch to the Add to Map tab so you can see there's no box next to our landscape yet, so it's still being built. Uh, we can check the status of this by using the refresh button. Landscapes typically do take a few minutes to build. When we refresh and see a checkbox next to our landscape, we'll know it's available. Uh, check that checkbox to add the landscape to Map Studio. Also, from this point on, the landscape will be available throughout IFTDIS. It'll be stored in my workspace and available in drop-down menus throughout the system.